Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to play some games with Balder Mewtwo. So we're in game 1, we choose hats, we lost the coin flip, the opponent is choosing who goes first. Okay, the opponent goes first. It's fine. Having a pretty solid start I believe, with Chiwaji and Mewtwo, and two choice balls. Also able to attach the raw energy and the big charm. Okay. So, okay, we're angry. Seems like we are up against some ADP. Yes, there's the station. Or at least we're playing against the station. Not sure if it's ADP, but I believe. So he's using Permit Wisdom. Energy Spinner. Getting him the Metal Energy. Play the Quick Ball onto Romani. Getting myself the Den on ADP, the SDADP. Benching the ADP and attaching water energy and using Intrepid Sword. Okay, getting one of energy of the Intrepid. Okay, so we draw switch, that's really nice. We play Cherish Ball, get ourselves the Wapplum. Okay. Joey set is prized, that's unfortunate, but okay, getting ourselves the wall plum and Joey's ball, getting ourselves the Deden, attaching the big jump to me to and attach the raw energy, discarding the wall plum, playing the den, don't want to use the wish first. Okay. So we play another Joey's ball to get ourselves the Chokizard maybe out of the deck, or the Incineroar, maybe the Incineroar is fine. Yes, playing the Quick Ball onto the Incineroar, and get the second Mewtwo out of the deck. Benching that one, as well as benching the Stixagoon, dealing 10 damage to the ADP, since he might have a big charm. And using the Crobat to draw 4 cards. Getting me the half. So we are trying to get the Welder here. So we start by playing the Shined Half. Playing the Quick Ball onto the Mewtwo to find ourselves Latias. On the Welders in the deck. They are all four Welders in the deck. That's nice. And playing the Shined Half onto the Latias to get two energies. Trying to find the Welder of the Stellarish. Unfortunately we didn't, but we take the scoop up net, so we have another way, and can't fight again. Take back the Juwaji, active the Sixagoon, bench Juwaji, put the Sixagoon into hand again, put Juwaji active and use the Wish again. Getting us the Welder, that's nice. Using the Welder, attach it to the Mewtwo with the special energy, attaching two energies there. Getting ourselves into a great spot for next turn. And this turn I will just attack 120 with Tech Perch, I believe, since we would be safe against the ADP if it really decided to attack, so we'll just do that. And deal 120. Getting ourselves the Choice Ball out of the deck. Okay. So next turn we might want to use Quick Ball to get ourselves the Rushes out of the deck, play that onto the bench and use the Welder and the energy on the active Pokemon to have uh, 6 energies there and use the GX attack of the Rushes out dealing 300 damage. But let's see what our opponent is going to be able to pull off here. He has promoted his ADP. He only needs water energy to KO, uh, to attack with his GX attack. But let's see. There's a charge ball. Getting him a second ADP. Playing the research, or oh, it's just thing out of stack for playing the church ball. When we discard it to Metal Saucer, that's nice. 
playing the quick ball onto a metal energy for more while. Okay, so the 60 goon is going to be getting benched this turn. That's fine, I guess. So I don't bench the Rashi Shard next turn, I need to discard it. But that's okay, I guess. Sure, what my opponent is doing with the Monwild, maybe thinking about playing a stamp or something. Maybe he hasn't found his water energy, so he will try to attack with addition if he doesn't. But it looks like he's going for the Zen and trying to find the water energy of the Dead Change. Discarding a switch, an energy switch. So already few four energy switch uh, three energy switches gone. Okay, he found his water energy and also the chaotic swell, that's fine. I get an half. That's fun as well. I will start by using the quick ball on two the half. Getting myself the rushes out of the deck. Playing Duelta onto the active one. Catching two energies there. Using the raw energy to discard my rush start. Don't want to use the Chowish ball here. And I will just use double blaze GX for the knockout. So if my opponent can't find knockout here, we can attack with 240, a uh, 30 with the rush set next turn as well. So let's see what he's able to pull off. We also do a lot of energies out of the prize cards, which is great as well. So we can try to attack with the other Mewtwo by just finding Welda off the top without Chiraji if he's able to knock out my active Pokemon. But let's see, there is an energy attachment and a great catcher. Okay, going for the Zidane, I believe. Yes, there's the Zidane. Playing an Elder Ghost, searching for the Mani or the Research. Getting him the Research. Playing the Research, getting 7 fresh cards out of the deck. Playing the Stamp. Nothing matters, we just need to attack with the Mewtwo, so yeah. As long as he doesn't KO the Mewtwo or discard 3 energies from that Pokemon, it's okay. He can also try to stall out my Eden a little bit, but I only need 1 energy to attach with that one. So I believe he can't really do anything here. And if he attacks us, we just win. So patch, fails, big jump. Okay, now a left turn. I have no neck in the discard pile, so I will go in with the Juaji first and see what he can pull off. He has 250, so if you would have found two nets, we could have used a six again twice, which would also have been a good option here. Okay, there's a fire energy. I don't think I want to, maybe I want to put the Walders back into the deck. Also fine to get Walders, or we might get something like that. We use the Stellarish, getting ourselves the Cherish Ball. Fine. Unfortunately not having a way to discard anything yet, so we will need to go for each den here. We will use the scoop up net to get the Chiraji back into the end and put the Mewtwo active. I don't want to attach the energy yet, so I will just use the den, also leaving the bench space open. Okay, there's the Walder. So I can try to attack with the big T, he has 3 energies and I attach 2, so we have 5. So we're dealing enough damage, so we're using the quick ball onto the Rashi start, getting ourselves the Victini here. Benching the Victini and using the Walda to attach 2 energies there. Oh, finding ourselves the switch as well, as well as one more energy and use energy burst to knock him out. Okay. 
That was game one, so we're right. We're going into game two right now. Okay, there we are. Game two. Let's see who's going first in this game. My pound having a lightning deck box. Might be some lightning deck, might be Pequom deck, can also be just the Boltons or weak ball deck. But let's see. On this going back hand, so I believe it's a Pequom deck. Since that's the only Willy deck, uh, I believe all electric decks want to go second, so yeah. But I believe it will be a Pequom deck. Okay, I will choose to start with the 6 again here. Keeping everything else in the hand right now. Okay, no lightning deck, just the lightning deck box at the sleeves and pulling against a fire deck. So I'm benching the Victini. I'm also attaching the Aurora Energy there to discard Nack. I to play the Scoop Up Net onto the Six Agoon and play it down. Deal then damage. I don't want to bench the mark here, so we keep that. I'll just play the Corvette to draw 4 cards. Getting me Cherish Ball. I will go for the Deden this turn to discard all the Pokemon. Also, this kind of energy is fine as long as I have the Bikini, I might be able to get them back. Okay, so I find a Mewtwo there, that's great. Also, having good options next turn. So we just pass and see what our opponent is going to do. Okay, there's the Queens. Okay, so I believe it's Sandy Scorch with Magnetan. But let's see, there's the Quick Ball and the Half. Half is fine. Discarding his Poker Gear, getting two energies. I believe he wants to play the Quick Ball onto the Sandy Scorch this turn. Catching the energy active and also trying to find the Magnemite here. Okay, there's the Sandy Scorching Bench. Catching the energy active. And just using Flare Starter. Okay, that's fine. So, I might just use the Spreading Flame this turn and attaching the energy to the Mewtwo on the bench. But we'll start by using the quick ball onto the Rushy Sad, adding the Latias, adding the Cherish Ball to get the Wild Plum, and I'll discard everything with the Deden here. And I believe it's okay just to have one Mewtwo down right now. So let's see what we get. Okay. Unfortunately, no Welder, but we play the half on our own half. Getting us two fire energies here. I also have discarded in Snow so that's great. I believe I won't attack with the active one since I'm not dealing enough. So just attack the energy to Mewtwo and use the spreading flames to attach two energies to Mewtwo as well. So if he's going in with the attack next turn, we might just want to poison him maybe with the muck or try to deal as much damage with the Choizard and the GX attack. Since the Sandy Scorch Remax has 320 HP. I can double use the six again on the Sandy Scorch as well to get the 20 damage onto the well onto the Sandy Scorch and attack with the GX attack of Joyzard. Okay, Bone is going to attach and and retreat. He Gmax and Defender, so that's a knockout here. I think I will promote the 6 gun here since I want to scoop it up. Anyways, we will promote that one. There's a boss. Not sure if I want to use that, but okay. I played a quick fall onto the switch since we don't need that one. 
Okay, we have one more scoop up in the deck, so we are wanting to try to find that. I'm guiding the den with the quick ball. Playing the scoop up net onto six again, putting the Mew to active. Deal 10 damage to the active Sentry Scorch, attach the Aurora energy and discard the energy. Play the air balloon onto the Crobat and the den for six. Hope to get the scoop up net. There it is, we got lucky. So the scoop up net. Bench the six again, again and just use the GX tag. Lab Blitz GX to knock out his Sentry Scorch. Taking our first three prize cards and are in a pretty good spot to win this game. Since my opponent definitely needs some turns to build up a new Sentry Scorch. And we can always use the Naganel to. Um, snipe his bench for 70, even though he doesn't play any Deden or Crobat in his deck since he has the Queen Engines. But okay, there's Poke Gear getting him the search, playing the Remorant and Anti Scorch down, playing the search, using the switch onto the Remorant and the research. Okay, so it's going to knock out one of my Deden from the bench this turn. With the snapshot, he will definitely be able to do that. I believe just needing one more energy, not too difficult for him to get. I believe, or maybe he doesn't have it. Okay, he doesn't have it, so that's our victory, and we're going into a game three. Okay, here we are, game three. Let's see how it goes. We want to kind of flip, so we want to go second. Okay, pretty solid start I believe, starting with Mewtwo, also having a charge ball, able to get to the den, already discarding two Pokemon we want to attack with later on. Okay, opponent's also playing Mewtwo, interesting. So he might try to retreat, okay he's not retreating, so we might be able to get one to this turn. Okay, we attach the big charm active. Play the Cherish Ball, that also has the Den out of the deck. We also have the Wablam in deck, so that's an easy Pokemon we can attack with to one-shot the opponent's Mewtwo. I believe we don't want to attach the Energy Den, just discard it with the change. Getting ourselves an Aurora Energy, discarding the Wablam, playing the Crobat, hope to get a Fire Energy to play the Welder. Okay, that's a Fire Energy, perfect. Play the Walder onto the Mewtwo and attach the Fire Energy there. Also play the Quick Ball onto the Washi Start to get myself a second Mewtwo out of the deck. Benching that one and attacking with Massive Bloom this turn to take the first KO. Okay, first three prize cards. Getting ourselves then, Judge Ball Mewtwo, that's great. Not sure if my opponent is able to attack next turn. Maybe trying. Okay, he's giving up. So we're going to play one more game and a game four. So let's meet there. Okay. So we are in game four. Ah, I want the coin flip, so I want to go second. Starting with Chiwaji and Mewtwo, that's great. Trying to find a giant half of Stellarish. And so I will be able to use the Walder here. Okay, that's a Suicon for my opponent. So it's looking like we are playing against Grossmuff Intellion. The Stellarish getting me a quick ball in the scoop up net. I might take the scoop up net there. I will use the quick ball onto one Walder. I might try to get the robot here to try to find an find half or two energies. So we'll use the robot, discard the Chiwaji. 
laying down the six again, dealing 10 damage to the bench Pokemon, and playing the Crovet for four, getting me at least a half. Playing the half on the Zen. Unfortunately, we threw all of our remaining Zens here. So, playing the Welder onto the Mewtwo for two energies. Finding ourselves nothing we really can use here. But I might use the Chuaji, catch the Evelyn and retreat onto the Chuaji. And use Delawish, try to find at least Quick Ball with what I can find Pokemon. I can retreat with, I can discard with the Den. I will take Mach here, since that's the only Pokemon it can, can one shot the 60 Goon right now. Playing the Den. Discarding the Magenta second to then. Getting myself not really great hand here. But I will just use severe poison and KO at least the Sexagoon here. Okay, giving me my first prize card. Quick ball, not too bad. Maybe able to find the Rushy set next turn and playing the wall at uh, the boss. Okay. So my opponent plays money. And let's see what we can get. Okay, a Josh Ball and a Quick Ball, a Boss and a Warwood, it's great. So we are able to get at least one Pokemon we want with the Josh Ball. And attack. Okay, my opponent is playing Kelly down. Trying to stall us out with that. Okay, he's preventing everything, so we need to keep our GX attack. From Reshisart for the Caldeo here. Okay, we got a half. So I will start with the Showish Ball. Getting myself the Reshisart since I want to KO the Italian with 230 this turn. I believe that seems reasonable. So we'll use the a raw energy onto the Rashi Sarge. And I believe the Italian KO is the best thing I can do here. So we'll use the boss on the Italian. And just use two player strike for 240. Buddy. Getting me two more prize cards. Latias, that's nothing I need. And the Welder. The Welder is perfect. So now we have the half in hand. As well as the Welder, so if he's promoting the Kalio again, I can one shot it with the GX attack of where she thought. Okay, he's playing a communication, finding him a Juaji. There's the first moth, benching the Juaji. Playing a Mani, okay, so unfortunately the Welder and the half gone. Okay. Drawing a big charm, energy, a wow one crobat. Knowing that one welder is under the deck. Not sure if the other welder is in the deck or in a prize card. So I might want to use the Chiwaji first. Okay. I might attach the wow energy to the active, discarding the turn. Let's Start by retreating into the Chibaji, I believe it. And then let's see what we can get off Stellarish. Which is Coop of Net. A balloon, I believe I will take the Scoop of Net. To get the Chibaji out of the active position, or maybe just take the switch. Seems more reasonable here. Let's just take the switch. Play the switch onto the Mewtwo. Play the wow on the active, discarding the Charizard. Playing the big charm onto the Zen maybe. And playing the Crobat and hope to find the Welder. Perfect, we do both Welder here. So we'll Welder to the active. I just attach one. So I have one left for next turn for the Welder if I need to. I won't play, I may play the scoop of net onto the six again and put down the second Mewtwo. I might need that later on. 
And now I will attack with one place she acts and take the knockout into the Caldeo. Okay, my opponent gave up. So that's our win. That's our fourth win today. And thanks for watching everyone. And hope to see you again in the next video.